in the world where not only have prevented cancer from ever happening, can reverse, can reverse any cancers there are. Otto Warburg, two-time Nobel Prize winner, so wasn't some dumb guy. The cause of cancer is no longer a mystery. We know it occurs whenever any cell is denied 60% of its oxygen requirements. When the cell doesn't have oxygen, it begins to turn cancerous. The cells have to have oxygen to survive. Because what does the cell use? What does a normal cell use to survive? Oxygen. And what does the cancer cell use to survive? Sugar. It has to have oxygen to survive. And that's what they, they discovered. Being oxygen deprived is one of the major causes of all your illnesses. Oxygen deprivation in your body. One of, the, one, of, one of cancer's primary characteristics is a lack of oxygen in the cell and blood. Cells do not function the way that we are intended to function with complete oxygen supplies. Your cells will not do what they're supposed to do if they don't have oxygen. They have to have oxygen in order to do what they need to do and to replicate normally. And so for next, for in six months from now, do you have good, for you to have good heart cells, for you to have good pancreatic cells, for you to have good lung cells and breath cells and all the rest of the cells, your cell has to have oxygen so next year it's going to replicate itself and keep replicating itself normally again. Causes of oxygen depletion. Number one, toxicity and acidity. Toxicity. And so, toxicity and acidity cause a residue which coats the membrane of the cell. Coats the membrane. So remember, the, the membrane on a cell, a membrane on a cell, as long as it has what it needs, will let oxygen, will let oxygen come into it. It'll let oxygen in. And so what happens is, when you're toxic and acidic, what happens is, you start creating Around the cell, right along the cell, you start creating a coating on that cell. Your cells become coated, and they become coated, and it gets a sticky residue and a residue there. And so now, what can't get into this cell? Oxygen can't get into that cell. So now the cell starts becoming starts becoming cancerous. And as the cell becomes cancerous, it starts forming its eight receptor sites for what? Sugar. Sugar. And sugar gets in. <coughs> The cancer cell, you're going to see well, how sugar gets in in a second, how powerful this is. But toxicity causes a residue which coats the membrane of the cell, present, prevents it from breathing. What we talked about, in, auto intoxication happens. It gets suffocated in there. It can't breathe properly. It suffocates the cell, it becomes cancerous. Smoking. So everybody wants to know, well, why does smoking cause problems? You know, is it the nicotine, whatever it is? No, the problem really is that when you bring smoke into your body, cigarettes contain carbon monoxide, whatever you're smoking, whether it's cigarettes or not. If you're smoking something, it has carbon monoxide in it, it competes with oxygen. Carbon monoxide doesn't like oxygen. Those of you know, what, what would happen? Is carbon monoxide poisoning good or bad? It's bad. It kills you because it takes all the oxygen out of your body. You die. There's carbon monoxide in this room long enough, all the oxygen comes out of our body. We die. Every time you smoke, what are you doing? You're suffocating yourself. You're suffocating your cells. You're killing your cells. If you are a smoker, quit immediately. It's a dangerous, dangerous poison. And you will get some form of cancer somewhere in your body. Somewhere. At one, one time or another. But look at this. Chlorine. Whew. I was, I've been big on this one lately. Chlorine takes oxygen right out of your cells. Cells can't survive. Chlorine gets in your body. How do we get chlorine in our body? What's the number one way we get it? Our showers. Showers. Bathing in it. Swimming in it. Your jacuzzi. Putting it on your hands. Chlorine. You have to take chlorine immediately out of your water in your homes. We're not telling you your kids can never swim again, but I think if you took the chlorine out of your house at least, and they're bathing and showering in it, the problem with showering is, is what else do you get when you shower? Smell it. You absorb it. You absorb it. How? It turns into what? Steam. Steam goes where? Right into the brain. Right into the brain. That's why, it's just like in any substance, if you took cocaine and snorted it or smoked it, which one do you get high faster on? Snorting it. Smoking it. Smoking goes, smoking absorbs it like this. That's why people get addicted to crack faster. You don't get addicted to cocaine as fast as crack because smoking, when anything turns into a gas, it goes right into the body and absorbs immediately. That's why hot tubs are the most dangerous place you could ever be in because what is it? It's a chlorine bomb. You're breathing in. You're breathing in a gas of chlorine the whole entire time. Swimming pools aren't near as dangerous as even as dangerous, not near as dangerous as the hot tub. So what do you do? You need a chlorine-free house and a chlorine-free hot tub. Don't go to the hot tubs in your gym. Sorry. If you oh, it feels good. You're gonna die in there. So go get a massage or something. Don't sit. Don't sit in the hot tub ever. Hopefully, we're working. Hopefully, with a lot of these places are gonna start getting chlorine stuff. I have a chlorine-free hot tub. I don't often they can't do it. You get an H2 filter. You clean it out. Clean out your water supply. You don't need swimming pools anymore with chlorine in it. 
do you have, does it cost a little bit more money? Yes. Uh, guaranteed. They said, hey, well, if your kids want to swim, give us an extra dollar a month, and we want to take the chlorine out. Everybody was surprised. Said, yes, that's all it would cost for most places. We got to get the chlorine out of everything. Chlorine takes oxygen out of the cell, which creates cancer. Water. Your cells are made of water. Your cell has to have water to survive. Water is an adhesive that bonds your cell structure. Water is essential to cleansing your body. 80% of your cells are, are made of what? Water. It needs water. It lubricates, flushes waste, toxins out of the body, cleanses your internal organs, eliminates toxins from your bloodstream. You need water. How much of water do you need? One liter per 50 pounds. Unless you're real sick, we may do a little bit more than that. What kind of water do you need? Clean water, not chlorine water. You drink tap water, all tap water is full of what? Chlorine and lots of it. Is because why? Because it's sewage water. Usually they have to get what out of there? The bad stuff, what do they use to clean water? Chlorine, plus a million other things they use. It, it is not, you should not ever, <coughs> besides the bacteria and all the drugs inside of it, you can't, you can't, even with chlorine doesn't get a lot of antibiotics out of the water and everything else out of the water. So we need to have a clean water supply. Most drinking water contains 2,100 toxic chemicals that cause cancer. Regular, regular drinking water. Carcinogens in drinking water are the contributing to all cancers in the U.S. That came from the Environmental Quality Agency, Council on Environmental Quality. That's, they're the ones saying that. That's how dangerous us drinking certain water is. So right now, everybody's here saying, is it, if you're saying all this, and this is all true, wouldn't everybody get cancer? What's everybody getting now? Cancer. So you said, well, what happened wasn't like that before? Because it, things weren't like that before. I mean, we, we didn't do the things we used to do before. We didn't have all the toxicities. We didn't have that. Now we do. Now nothing's regulated like it used to be, and everything's toxic for us. They didn't put tons of chlorine.